Hey everyone, Pupsker here. Today in Warframe, we're going to be talking about how you can get your Necromech as the latest quest, The New War, required it, and by proxy, the newest quest, Angels of the Zeremon, will also require that, as you need to complete The New War to actually do the newest quest coming April 27th in Angels of the Zeremon. So quite simply, in order to get your Necromech, you need to do Deimos, so we'll quickly just jump on over to the Necrolisk and take a look there. In order to get your full Necromech, you need to run the bounties which are called Isolation Vaults. Those are just pretty much the game mode that was brought in to Deimos in order to actually get the Necromech. So first off, you need to go into Operator Mode in order to go through and talk to Lloyd as the door stops you if you're in Warframe Mode. This is where you get your Necromech. You just quick, quite simply browse wares and then buy the Void Rig Blueprint and buy up all of the Void Rig parts, right? You buy up this Blueprint and then buy up all of these parts. So this will require you to kill Necromechs as you can see the build requirements here require things like a damaged Necromech engine, and this requires a damaged Necromech pod. And in order to get that, you just need to run Isolation Vaults. It's pretty simple running these, because running Isolation Vaults just straight up gets you items that you can just trade for standing, which are these. And then you rank up your Necroloid standing. Once it's a higher rank, you can purchase up your Void Rig. You can also purchase Bone Widow, the other... Necromech if you want, but I would recommend the Void Rig Necromech first. So, that's how you do that. Now, let's run the bounty itself. It is Isolation Vaults right here. As you can see, they have some cool loot tables and good items. You kind of need stuff like the damaged Necromech weapon barrel in order to build the Necromech weapon here, one of them at least, so it's kind of a pain. Let's run the Isolation Vault Tier 3, and we'll take a look as this is how you, yourself, can get a Necromech, okay? It's a pretty simple mission with three main parts. Part 1, you just quite simply do kind of a defense mission. Part 2, you just do a mini survival type mission. Then you go in and kill the Necromex. I'll show you, don't worry. Obviously, we're gonna go through the whole mission, maybe just cutting off here and there while we're just casually waiting for the timer to tick down, but hey. Step 1, go to the bait station, right? Smiley face. <laughs> Haha, now he's gonna be in a video. It used to be a little weirder, but you just straight up hold the bait here for a minute and a half. Since I'm playing a ya girl, Protea, not really gonna have any issues. I also brought along my Bubonico just for fun. No reason, really. The Bubonico is decent enough against the uh, void, or sorry, the mechs, because you have to kill the Necromechs in the isolation vaults. So the Bubonico is not actually too bad at that. If you want to specifically just kill the Void Rigs, or sorry, the mechs in the vault, which we'll get to later, there's a lot of strategies you can use. You know, you shoot down the arms of it, shoot the back middle of it in order to damage it. There's a lot you can do there. You can use uh, different Warframe abilities, different weapons. You can use energy type weapons. Uh, let's see, Excalibur's Exalted Blade. And you can just slash at them. And it goes through and deals a lot of enemy damage to the Void Rig. Or whatever the other mech would be. So, yeah, there's a lot of ways to do damage and get murders done in this. So, luckily, it's not too bad. There's also a bonus part to getting loot at the end of an Isolation Vault, and I'll show that as well, as it's actually recommended you always do it. But this part here is just very simple, very slow, right? Just wait, chill while enemies spawn, and the bait station gets grabbed. Then you can just grab the bait. Okay, I have grabbed the bait, and then it should tell you where to go. Right, and then we just run here. You just use the bait in order to open a door. Right, run down here, throw middle mouse button once I get to the door. Uh, you'll see. Looks like a nice little puckered butthole. Ah yes, the puckered butthole. Oh, you don't actually have to throw it anymore, you just have to bring it there. That was old uh, isolation vaults. So now this is going to turn into about a minute and a half survival, I think. Yeah, you gotta just survive the toxic fumes. 
while everything spawns in here. It'll spawn enemies that you have to kill that drop a little extra. You can also use your mechs in here, right? Because this is what we're farming for right here, everybody. This is the goal, if you don't know. This right here is the mech. It is what you want, what you need. Beautiful attack. Ah, uh, look at that. Look at that arc gun, just getting damage off. Oh yeah, and then those are the enemies, right? You grab that item. Reduces the toxicity a lot. Isolation vaults, honestly, are not that bad compared to what uh, people might think they're... Like, how bad they think they are. Or it is, I should say. It really doesn't take too long to get them all done. You can easily get a necromech within a day of farming. Or a week of logging in to hand in your reputation. Standing and all that to the necromech vendor, necroloid vendor. It just takes a little bit of time. But yeah, honestly, it's not that bad. Like, we're just casually running the mission right now. Right? We're like, what, five minutes in? Three minutes into the mission itself? And it's not, like, hard yet. The next part, when we actually start fighting the mechs, that one is kind of a pain. It's just recommended you don't run Isolation Vault solo if you can't solo the mechs. But it's not like it matters too much, right? You can always throw in a Gunblade. I know people really like using Gunblades against the Necromech, using the uh, armor stripping of Gunblade to do more damage to it. You got a lot of uh, a lot of options here, okay? So, since we're doing a tier 3 Isolation Vault, there are going to be three enemies. I think, uh, are we right? Are we running the right way? Yeah. There's gonna be three mechs that we have to find and kill. There's one. So it's recommended you just shoot at the back middle of it and shoot out the arms. Eventually it'll just get killed though. Everyone just mashes their abilities against it. The necromech is kind of annoying because it has invincibility states. Because the Necromech uh, uses the same abilities it would have as if it was like your Necromech, so. As you can see, we tend to just kind of uh, blast it with everything we got, and it'll do enough damage to kill it. That's just kind of how it is. Where is it? You, <laughs> I like the people uh, using a mech against the mech. So yeah, if you didn't know, the Void Rig will like shoot back your damage. It has a lot of... Uh, Annoying damage reduction or like reflection too, right? Even if you throw up things like this, like my turret's not really gonna do too much. Oh, but they killed it. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt. The Necromechs just have a lot of random invincibility states, so you just kind of have to deal with it and just yeah, just blast the hell out of it with damage, shoot down its arms, and then if I just shoot at the back, oh, I'm trying to shoot out the arms here, but. It's getting kind of hard. You can just melee it too if you're bored. As you can see, my uh, shield goes down because like of the weird damage reflection, all that. But everyone just shoots at uh, just shoots at it really. Eventually, it'll go down. There's enough AOE. If you shoot at like the heads, the arms, the limbs, it'll eventually go down, just like that. So now you want to do this optional part here. This is the like, I guess, what, optional isolation vault? Loot the isolation vault? It's the last part of the mission. You just want to always do this. Reason being is you get more loot, and the amount of loot that you get is actually such a good amount. So, yeah, just always do it. If people tell you not to, they're, they're bad. Don't listen to them. Be like, no, I want, I want the loot. Yeah. That was a weird necromech run anyways. They're kind of goofy because it always turns into the entire team just goes and groups up against the mech and then we just shoot all of our attacks and abilities until it's dead. So it's way more hectic in uh, full group compared to single player because of all of that. But oh well, it is what it is, right? The nice thing about the uh, isolation vault and the mechs are they're not like too hard to kill. Look at that, look at that speed boost. I think they're actively giving him a speed boost. I could be wrong though. But I think they're actively giving Otak a speed boost. Oh no, the enemies! Yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of hanging out with you, boy. Come on, buddy, let's go. The Necromech itself does like insane amounts of damage, so. Once you actually do unlock this, right? It's fourth ability just kills everything instantly. Because it does 
like hundreds of thousands of damage pretty quickly. Just has insanely high multipliers on it. The Mausolon is the arc gun you get with the Void Rig Necromech. Or I just like both Necromechs, actually. And it's good, too. It's the one I have on right now. So yeah, you just gotta follow your boy as he runs along, and he charges up those little uh, vault generators in order to open up the door. It's very simple overall. Takes a little bit of time, of course, but whatever. Good night. Right, he's just, he just powering it up. Yeah, once you get enough kills with the moss on, you can, uh, you can hit the secondary fire on it. Which is just big cannon go burr. Hey, he's done charging that one. Where is he going now? He's going over here. That's silly goose. Goofy goober. Okay, come on. You just keep following. Yeah, boy. And then he'll get to the last one, and then I'll show you the, how the isolation vault door works. It's pretty simple. It's just kind of silly. He's just going around there. What are you doing? The vault's right there. He has that last one to charge. I got you. I got you, buddy. There we go. Saved it. Saved it. Uh, I think the AI on this one kind of bugged out. Because it went up here, and then it went down there. He already went up here once. Oh, I don't know. Maybe he's just doing it again. <laughs> to activate the fourth generator, which was like the first generator again. I don't know. Either way, that is that part. And then you continue on just hanging out here with your boy. With your best buddy. And then he's just chill. He's like, hell yeah, dog. I think you can charge him if you shoot him. You can charge a shield or something so he doesn't die. I don't know if that still works, though. So, very simple. Symbol show up on door. You shoot symbol. One, two, three, four. Right? So, boop. Boop. So, it's boop. Boop, boop, boop. And then, that's it. You did the isolation vault. You got your necromech, if you run this enough. Has arcanes, there you go. Theorem Contagion. Bunch of bonus loot here. Orican Cell, Residual Boils. Right, look at all the loot you get. You can get Argon Crystals here. Get a bunch of ton of, like, extra... Just whatever loot. You get some random Mother Tokens, which just help in general, right? You don't get a ton of Mother Tokens from Isolation Vaults. Just a little bit, which, you know, always helps. And then one by one, everyone goes to the, uh, the arm, as this is how you get out. It just kind of, like, grabs your face, sucks you into the next dimension. Very lovingly, I might add. You know, gives you that the quick suck. And then, you are good to go. So, that is all of an isolation vault. Do that for like a day and you'll generally have enough uh, matrixes so that you can up your necroloid standing so that you can build your necromech. From there, the RNG of the drops and the parts is just, just that, really. You just have to get lucky and get all the drops. So, as always, if you liked the video, if it helped you, like, sub, favorite, check out any of my random social medias. Use creator code PUPSKER if you use the Epic Game Store at all, and I will see you next time. Peace.